thank you for joining me today for Real Estate Religion and You. My name is Dr. Sylvia Black, licensed real estate broker with Affordable Homes and Apartments, and I'm licensed to preach and I'm ordained as a minister. And I have my master's degree in sacred theological divinity. And I'd like to thank you for joining me today for Real Estate Religion and You, which airs every Wednesday right here on Time Warner Public Access TV Channel 20, Wednesdays 6.30 to 7 p.m. and Saturdays from 12.30 to 1 in the afternoon. And I'd like to thank you for joining me today for Real Estate Religion and You. And today I'd like to talk to you on the continued basis of my book, Never Grow Old, in Body, Mind, and Spirit. And this book is available on my website at Books Galore and More. That's Books Galore and More. And this book basically talks about how to stay young, vibrant and healthy as we mature and pretty much all your life. Okay, now today the topic we're going to be talking about is staying healthy as you mature. Staying healthy as you mature. Now, it's important uh, to feel the best that you can feel from day to day. Of course, we all know that. Now, aging uh, can bring about its own crisis. Getting older can bring about a crisis within itself. You know, and it, it can bring about a literal crisis as well as a figurative crisis. You can imagine all kinds of things in your mind, you know, about what happened, what's going to happen, and what have you. But as we mature, you may feel that like your life is changing. And it is for the better. And for some, you may think that your life is over or that the best years are behind you. Well, getting older can be scary, but it doesn't have to be if you know the secrets of staying healthy as you mature. And I come to tell you today that the best is yet to come. Now, wouldn't it be wonderful if you could turn back the hands of time and suddenly be 30 years younger again? and be active and vibrant and healthy all over again, but be just as mature as you are today? Wouldn't that be great? Well, you may not be able to turn back the literal or the clock, the literal clock, the time clock, but you can actually turn back the clock within your body that says that you have to get old. You don't have to get old. Just because you're getting older or just because you're maturing does not mean that you have to grow old. My thought of getting old is... When I used to see certain relatives of mine or certain people, you know, and their body just wouldn't function anymore like it used to function. You know, they would, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, experience, you know, certain things in their life that they, you know, didn't experience before. Or they couldn't do certain things that they could do anymore. And it just, you know, appeared that as they got older, their body got worse. You know, it got, you know, they weren't able to move around as freely and they weren't as active as they was before. And these kind of things sort of scared me. I was like, is that what it means to get older? You know, I was wondering to myself, I said, nah, I don't think so. I hope not. You know, so it sort of frightened me to get, you know, when I was like getting older and everything. And then I'm looking at young people and I'm like, wait a minute, hey, I look better than a lot of those young people do today. You know, that are half my age, you know. So, hey, baby, I'm a flaunt it. You know what I'm saying? This is what God gave me, any, and I'm using it for his glory. And so I'm going to use it, and I'm going to use it to the best of my ability, honey. I'm not going to be ashamed of it, and neither should you. Now, by doing it, uh, okay, by keeping your skin healthy and your body healthy, exercising, uh, taking supplemental vitamins with the advice of your doctor, of course, and um, taking care of your skin and your body, you can actually prolong the years of your life. You could actually live longer by changing your diet and eating right and eating healthy, exercising. You know, because if you notice, your heart is the, like the center of, of the body. And if the heart ain't working, ain't nothing else going to work, right? But if your heart's working right, that can pump the rest of the stuff to the rest of our body and allow the rest of the body to function properly. You know, so the main thing is keeping that heart healthy. I think a lot of doctors will probably tell you that. And in order to do that, stay active, eat right, and eat healthy. You ever heard of people who have clogged arteries or, you know, have to have bypass surgery and what have you? know, because you're ingesting the wrong things in your body. You know, when you take something in your mouth, when you put something in your mouth, you have to say to yourself, hey, I'm doing this for my body. You know, I'm doing this for my body. Well, what's going to happen with my body when I eat this? What's going to happen to my body if I put this in my mouth, you know? Am I going to be able to recover from this? You know, what's the situation? What is the deal? So you have to be able to really predict a lot of these things uh, before you eat, you know, and start changing your diet and know and say, I may not taste as delicious as some of the foods that I used to eat, 
Well, believe me, baby, I'm going to look a whole lot better than I did before. And I'm going to stay healthy and vibrant, and I'm going to live longer, and I'm going to be more happy and, and flourish. Okay. <clears throat> now, um, if you reject getting older, then nine times out of ten, you probably won't live to, you know, to see your older age. But you, we must welcome an, a, a age as we get older. We must welcome it with grace and thanksgiving and uh, praise. You know, thank God for another day. Thank God for another birthday. You know, I know a lot of people didn't see half the years that I have seen, you know. And I remember the Bible says that back in the day, that people used to live to be, what, Methuselah lived to be almost a thousand years old? Come on now. You know, you go, you get, you get put in jail for 500 years, that's a drop in the bucket for you. That's half your life. You still got another 500 years to go. Noah was still making babies at 500, okay? Uh, what happened to Abraham? Abraham had a baby and he was almost 100 years old. A a a a Abraham and his wife, and she was way past childbearing years. Okay, so I mean, God can do the impossible where you think it's impossible. You know, He can do the possible where you think it's impossible. He can do things that you think that you know you wouldn't, you cannot do in your own strength. But we know that we have a God that we can talk to, and God can do all things but fail. Okay. Now it's like I said, it's a privilege to wear that golden crown, and I, what I call a golden crown is uh, a head of you know gray hair. Well, I, don't, I don't like to put it that way, but that's what it is. I'm trying to explain it in, as delicately as I can. It's a head of gray hair. And what it is, is that it's basically, uh, that's what I call a golden crown, you know. And, um, you know, a lot of women, when I look at, you know, I said, wow, she's got wisdom on her years. You know, she's got age. She's, she's you, know, she, you know, she's blessed because she's up there, you know. And, you know, some women walk around, you know, flaunting it. Maybe they're dressed you know, I mean, they're not dressed out of season now. Don't get me wrong. And I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, dressing to impress as we get older. OK. Um, now, as we mature, your mind sh is strengthened uh, as you continue to take care of your body. Of course, uh, it grows stronger. And you realize that when tech I realized that when technology began to change, when the Internet came about, I said, you know what? I'm not going to be left behind. OK. I had to keep up with modern technology, partly as a result, so that now my mind stays active. I read a lot. I stay active in the books, you know, so my mind is constantly being renewed. I'm remembering more things than I did before. You know, I'm really practicing, you know, exercising my mind as well as my body. And when you exercise your body, your mind gets a benefit of the, of the whole thing, too. Now, my mind gets better with every passing day. You know, I haven't aged since I was 30 years old. You know, um, and I refuse to grow old. I'm not conforming to my age ever, and you shouldn't either. Okay, I'm not classifying myself as no senior citizen when I get to be a senior citizen. You know, uh, some people classify you when you reach a certain age, you can get a discount on movie tickets. You know, but you're not classified as a senior citizen in certain other areas. In certain areas, when you get a certain age, like different housing facilities, I'm, I'm a real estate broker, so when you have uh, so one housing facility may consider you to be a senior citizen when you're a specific age, but the majority of you classify you as a senior citizen when you get to be like 65. But when you're, I think, I think it's 55, you can actually move into a senior citizen house, you know. But you're not technically a senior citizen. Uh, movie tickets, you can get uh, when you're 60, you can get a movie ticket instead of paying ten dollars, you get it for eight dollars if you're a senior. <laughs> you know, so different people have classified senior citizens at, at different ages, you know, and they have job places for people when you get 50. You know, when you turn 50 years old, now they have sp special places that you can go for job, you know, and I'm wondering, you know, am I ever going to have to need that? You know, because what I'm curious about is that is if when you go to apply for these jobs, you know, like if you go to this specific agency that caters to people 50 and over, do they assume that you have no skills or do they, you know, what are they, how do they cater to you? You know, do they get you something, anything, you know, or whatever, because what are they going to tell the employer? Oh, by the way, she's, you know, she's, she's 50, you know, so, you know, get her a job. You know, I, I just don't know, understand how, how that works, you know. Um, anyway, uh, like I said, I, um, now my mind, my body and my mind get better with each passing day. Okay, because I practice these very things that I put in my book that I talked to you about today. Okay, and, um, and you can too. Okay, sometimes, you know, guys ask me, 
you know, why I don't, you know, date a guy's my own age. And I tell them why, well, because they're either dead or in the nursing home. <laughs> you know, um, either that or I have to just, you know, uh, uh, lie so I can get a date. You know what I mean? Because, oh, well, how old are you? And they, you know, I, I think of the monsters, you know, when that's, that's you know, it's, it's, get your laugh on. You know, think of the monsters. Remember the monsters when Marilyn came along in the scene, you know, and she they thought that she had a disability. But, you know, and Marilyn overlooked the fact that, you know, th these people, they look like monsters, you know, they did, really did. And they lived in a, a, a you know, in a cemetery, you know, <laughs> and they thought she had the disability. And, you know, how when she would bring guys home, you know, how they would run, they show them running, running, they kick up dirt and run so fast. You know, that's how I would imagine, you know, like, okay, how, how old are you? And then I got to fix my mouth to say how old I am and everything. Now, is that the only thing you want to know about me? You know, don't you want to try to charm me first? Or, you know, wind me and dine me before you get to know? What do you have to offer before you're asking me to dog all my information? You know, maybe I don't want to tell you my age. This is just a date. I'm just out with you for the night. I don't plan on marrying you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and so, you know, as far as I'm concerned, my life has just begun as I get older. You know, um... Uh, um, you know, like I said, I don't want you, you know, you have dated guys, you know, now when you have to date a guy that's young enough to be your child, I think, I think there should be a law against that. Don't date anybody who's young enough to be your son or your daughter. Okay. But you do have all the guys that date younger girls, you know, they're young, young enough to be their daughter, you know? Uh, um, but I say ladies, you know, because either they feel that, you know, you either got to come at them with some money, you know, don't feel desperate, you know, cause you're not, just because you're getting older, you're not. You have to, you know, do, then I'm going to talk about what we need to do in order to make ourselves more attractive. Okay. Um, you know, don't feel desperate. Don't feel like you got to pay anybody for your services. Okay. Um, you know, like, like I said, and a lot of guys that are up in age, they don't even take, they don't take care of their bodies. Some guys do and some guys don't, you know, a lot of guys don't take care of their bodies. And I'm like, who wants to date somebody, you know, that are, they look like Santa Claus, okay? Not me, you know what I mean? Or cuffing, huffing and puffing all day long, you know what I mean? You'd be like, you know, what's the matter with you, you know? You know, you smell cigarette smoke on them all day, you know, they'd be like, <clears throat> you know, all in your face or whatever, you know, or they snore, you know, and they got all these kind of things that's wrong with them and whatnot, and you built, spent your life trying, taking care of your body, you know, and ain't no way in the world you want to deal with somebody that now you got to take care of them. You might as well go get a job in a nursing home, Okay. You know, so, you know, so I go to the gym a lot, you know, and I, I you know, so when now when children grow up and they go off to be on their own, uh, you know, loss of loved ones, it makes you, might may, may make you feel like you're a little lonely or left out, you know, and then uh, that's when you feel that your body may begin to change, you know, or when you get older and whatnot and you see other people's lives, people look like they're having fun and you feel that you're not having fun because you're getting older. Well, you know, um, your body's changing for the better. You know, there are things now that you couldn't do before, you know, the key to getting older, maturing, I should say. And as I said earlier, is staying active, healthy and youthful, eating right, exercising and take care, taking care of your mind and your body and the rest of your life for, for, for this day forward, for the rest of your life, every day of your life. OK, now feeling old, you know, a lot of people feel old because they look at the number of years that they've been on the face of the earth. You know, you feel old can, you know, can cause you to actually, you know, die early, you know, because then you will suffer from depression. You may suffer from heart disease. You will suffer from physical ailments that will cause you to expire. You see what I'm saying? What I'm trying to do is to promote healthy thinking, healthy living in you. When I talk about my book, Never Grow Old in Body, Mind and Spirit. OK, now, uh, you, know, you, you know, you don't have to feel sorry for yourself anymore just because you're getting older. Your life has really just begun as far as I'm concerned. As long as there's breath in your body, as God has given you life, there's still life. Okay, there's still the ability. You can you know, don't waste time in your life and incarcerating yourself. Come out of the corner, you know, and into the marvelous light with your bad self, girlfriend. Okay. I'm talking to the ladies right now, but guys too, you know. Uh, you know, now you can do all the things that you couldn't do before. Okay, you, when you were working nine to five, remember how time consuming it was when you had to go to work every day, you know, and then you had to come home and take care of the kids. And then when you go to bed, you have to take care of your husband. You know, you had to do all of these things for everybody else. And then you hardly ever got any chance to do anything for yourself. Well, now is the opportunity that you can do things for yourself. Okay. They ask me, they say, hey, are you mean you sitting around here doing nothing? I said, no, honey, nothing is what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually doing nothing. 
Okay. So, you know, you can go on vacation. You can do things that you couldn't do before. You know, and you can get some extra rest. You can sleep later during the day. Why not? You know, don't don't have to, don't get up early in the morning just because you've been a habit. Get out of that habit. Start doing things because you want to do them. Make your mind up how you're going to co- focus your day. And the main thing is basically include healthy eating, exercising, you know, and, and doing all the right things to help your mind and your body stay active, healthy, and happy. That's the main thing. Make sure you incorporate those things in your daily uh, planning for your daily for your daily agenda. Okay, now like I said, you know, take a you join the gym, take a continuing education class. Um, you know, um, nobody really has to know how old you are unless you tell them. You know, okay. Now uh, they might say, "How old are you?" And I say, "Well, you know what? That's on a need to know basis." And right now, you don't need to know. <laughs> you know. Or I'll say, only my hairdresser knows for sure. And I do my own hair. Okay, girlfriend? <clears throat> now, no, another thing. This is one of the main things. I know you've seen some TV shows where, you know, they come on there and, and you may need a makeover. You may need a makeover, okay? And you don't have to go on television to get a makeover. Look at yourself in the mirror and you say to yourself, what might need changing? What can I do to my appearance to make me a little more attractive? Well, I can tell you one thing that you can do. And I noticed it and when I was watching this movie. I forgot what the name of the movie was, but there was a young lady. She, uh, she was new to the stage and she had had black hair. And she was in this one particular role. And then I saw her in another movie and she had, it was the same woman. I said, oh my God, look at how different she looks. She was much more attractive, and I was just staring at the picture, and I couldn't figure out. I said, now, what did she do to herself to make herself look more attractive? And I said, oh, my God, she colored her hair. She changed the color of her hair. And so that's what you need to do, ladies. That's one thing. Change the color of your hair, okay? Color your hair. You know, you might want to talk to a hairdresser to find out. You know, ask them, say, what color, oh, you know, can I color my hair to make me look more attractive? Now, I ain't colored my hair. It's a very subtle uh, color. It's a very subtle color, so you can, you know, very, you, you can barely notice it, but it does offer some type of, you know, youthfulness to my face. Um, and um, so you can color your hair. You can give it a very extreme coloring, or you can give it a very moderate, very subtle type of color. You don't have to go to the extreme. You don't have to go all out. And when you look on the chart, and it'll show you what color your hair will actually be, because the darker your hair the longer it will take for it to actually lighten up unless you try very light, light color. You don't want nothing, no blonde. You don't want to walk around with no blonde hair, and you know, and you got skin like mine, okay? Come on. You know, we want something that's going to be natural and attractive and appealing. You know, nothing that's going to look at that person and say, oh, my God, look at that woman, you know? <laughs> okay, so that's one thing. Try to color up your hair. If you feel that you don't have enough hair, go to the hairdresser and get some extensions. If you don't can't afford that, go buy a wig. I don't like wigs, personally. I don't like wigs, okay? Um, um, you know, now, we, can, we, we need to change the way we dress, okay? Don't wear nothing too tight, okay? Because at your age, you know, it'll, it may cause asphyxiation and you'll die, you know? So that defeats the purpose, okay? Uh, buy some new clothes, you know what I mean? Buy some new clothes, because first of all, you know, as far as I'm concerned, now that you're listening to this message, you're getting your body in shape. Okay, and you know I've learned a secret. There's a couple of things that you can buy. It's it's like a girdle. It's a thing that goes around your waist, but it's not a panty. It doesn't have the panty part. It just goes specifically around your waist, and it helps to flatten your belly. And you can buy it in the girdle section of the local department store. Okay, and I suggest that you get it in small, unless of course you are, you know, depends on your size. Now don't get don't 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 go you know. If you're my size, you can get a small, you know. If you're, um, I say if you wear an a, a 18 or whatever, get a medium. Try to get one size smaller than what you would normally wear. Because if you get the regular size, then it's not going to do much in terms of sucking in any of that. And it also helps you because it, 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 when you get these particular things to go around your waist, it actually causes you to suck your belly in a little bit. You know what I mean? Now I'm going to try to... Show you a little bit. See, my belly is in a little bit, you know. It's in there, you know. And I'm going to the gym, but in the meantime, until I get, you know, to the, till I, you know, get my belly down where I want it to, I have, you know, the things so it makes me, you know, look a little, looks, flattens my belly from what it was, 
You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you can, you know, you can trim it down a little bit while you're Denver, you know, you don't have to wear nothing tight or I really don't like really wearing anything tight, but I'm like, hey, why not? I wear something close knit fitting. But what I like to do is I say, you know, I spend a little bit extra on my clothes. You know, don't go buy the cheapest shoes in the world. Buy something just a little bit more. Go to Macy's, go to JCPenney, go, you know, go to Sears, go to, you know, go to Walmart, Kmart all the time to buy your clothes. Go somewhere else. Go to another department store. Go to somewhere that's just a little bit more, you know, spend a little bit. Treat yourself. Baby yourself now. Now is your opportunity to do for you what you couldn't do for yourself before. You know, now you want to make yourself look good. Another thing, ladies, the dresses. Now, I love wearing long dresses, but sometimes I find it necessary to wear a dress uh, just a little bit above the knee rather than at my ankles. It depends on what kind of dress you have. If you have something that makes you look demure, then that's okay. You know, if you get yourself a hundred dollar dress or a two hundred dollar dress if you can afford it, um, you know, then you can wear a dress down to your ankle because the whole thing just makes you look great. But if you, you know, wear something above the knee, you know, now you can show your legs that you that nobody ever thought that you had, you know. And some of you have pretty legs. You know, I've been told that I have nice a nice arch in my leg, you know, but I just do not like I didn't like in the past. I, I guess I felt sort of self conscious. But I do now more so, you know, I want it now. You know, I said, you know, because I'm out there, you know, I'm looking and whatnot, and I want to look my best, I, but I want to be demure in my appearance. I don't want to be, you know, slutty, you know, in the way I look. And, and remember that I'm, I'm a church girl, so I want to keep that in mind. But when people look at me anyway, they automatically don't think that I'm a church person, you know. But this is God right here. This God blessed me with all of this, okay? And I'm not denying it, man. You know, so anyway, you know, the same way God bless me, he can bless you. You just got to learn the secrets of never growing old, which you will find in my book. You get that at Books Galore and More, and it's entitled Never Grow Old in Body, Mind, in, in it's supposed to be Body, Mind, and Spirit. Okay. Never Grow Old in Body, Mind, and Spirit. Now, another thing, single ladies uh, and gentlemen, if you're single, but mostly for ladies, ladies, Learn how to flirt with every man that you meet. Every man, ladies, you know, if you like, you know, man of inter if you like interracial relationships, then you can flirt with any man. If you just want to date men of your own race, then flirt with the men of your own race. Flirt with them. How do you do it? You smile at them. Hello. You speak to them. Okay, it doesn't mean anything. You're just speaking, you're saying hello. They may strike up a conversation and they may not. If they do, that means that they're interested, but don't you do all the work. Okay, you smile at them, let them know that you're interested. Hello, how you doing? And then keep it moving. If they like, if they like you, they'll talk to you. Okay, what I mean, because you know you don't want to make yourself appear to be too desperate out there either, just because you're getting older. You know, you taking care of yourself. You are first priority. That's number one. You are the first priority in your life that you're going to be taking care of. Just think about all of those days that you wish that you could have done some of the things that you're able to do now. Get going, get up off your rusty, dusty, put one foot in front of the other and get started. Get started with what you what, what you have right now. Don't wait. Get started with what you have right now today. And keep it moving, baby. Don't be depressed about what happened. You can't change what happened yesterday. You can't stop what happened yesterday, but you can change your future. And you can change from today forward. Okay? And you can definitely make a big impact on that. Do something to your hair. Put some makeup on, you know, maybe some women need, like I told I talked to you before about skincare, about how to keep the skin tight. If you didn't watch the message, go and visit my YouTube at Highway to Heaven Church of God, and you can see the video there, or you can go to Books Galore and more, I'll also have the video there. I talked about how to keep the skin tight, how to take care of your skin. Some women don't need a whole lot of makeup, and some women need more makeup than others, Okay. You might want to seek help from a dermatologist if you have that kind of money. You might want to go to a beautician if you have that kind of money. Okay? Um, okay, there are a lot of myths about getting older. Okay, we don't really even want to uh, harp on those myths. I talked a lot about some of those myths, you know. But first of all, don't conform to your age. Never, ever conform to your age. You know what I mean? People might say, you're so-and-so age. Okay, and... You know what I mean? Um, when you get that age, then you let me, then you can tell me what to do, okay? But, you know, you think about all the things that you couldn't do. You know, you might be divorced. You know, that might be getting you down. You may be separated from your, your mate. You may not be together with them anymore. 
uh, you you know your, your job may have you may have just retired. Okay, you may you know something may have happened with the job. You may have gotten fired. Who knows? You know, it's a definite change in your life. And I believe that you know when when we women, especially women, when we get older, you know, we have a tendency to think on things that are of the masses. You know, we let other people control the way we think. We let other people control the way we you know see our life. And now you need to look at yourself in the mirror, baby, and you said, I am wonderful. I am beautiful. I am gorgeous. I am dynamic. And I am getting better as I mature. I will never grow old. You need to look in the mirror every day and say that to yourself. And if you're religious like I am, you can say, in the name of Jesus, I consider it done. Amen. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for joining me today for Real Estate Religion and You. You can also visit my YouTube at sblack 3001 Okay, you can visit my also my other YouTube address is Highway to Heaven Church of God or Highway to Heaven Church. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, you can also visit my uh, my Black Preaching Network. Okay, um, you can, my, my books will more than likely be on uh, books galore and more instead of that. So, you know, ladies, don't let nobody tell you, you know, I had just wanted to change my hair. I just wanted to change it. And you could probably tell it's just a little little subtlety. It gives my, my face a soft appearance, you know. And it also, I found out, that helps me, makes me look a little more youthful. And I noticed that if I put long hair, if I get extensions and I make it long, I look like a teenager, <laughs> you know. Um, but I don't know if I want to look that young, you know. I mean, I had young boys that wear their pants down below their behind and come talking to me, you know. And I think I need a man that's just a little bit more mature than that, you know. So, you know, you want to look mature, you want to look demure, but you don't want to look old. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I always say, Greg, Greg, go away. Come again another day because little Sylvia wants to play, honey. You know, I ain't trying to see no gray hairs up in here right now. And some people get gray hairs. Some people have gray hairs as a birthmark, believe it or not. You know, some people grow gray hair at 30. Some good people get gray hair at 40, you know. But I color my hair once a month. You know, I used to color it black. Like I, now I have a different color in it, and it's a new color, actually. And it's, uh, I'm going to recolor. I'm going to do something else to my hair. Next time you see me, it's going to be a little bit more uh, different. But it'll be the same. But I like the natural look, you know. I like the curly look. You know, I like, you know, the, the curls. I might get the jerry curls put in. You know, because the extensions, I think, are the thing of the past. I think I look better with my own natural hair than I do with extensions. Because my own hair, I can take care of my hair. I can scratch it. I can comb it. I can do so many different things with my hair. I color it. And it always looks fine. It always looks nice, you know. And see, I notice, ladies, when you put too much hair on your face, uh, on your head, I mean, okay, <laughs> when you put too much hair on your head, you're covering, a lot of you, you're covering up your face. And you have a beautiful face. That's what they used to tell me. You're covering up your face, you know. And I'm like, you know, I'm covering up my face. I had all that hair coming all down, you know, my face. And, and it wasn't always covering up my face. I would have it, you know, but I need more up, you know, to, to highlight, you know, what God has blessed me with. So anyway, I want to thank you for joining me today. Holla at a sister. I will see you next week right here on Time Warner Public Access to the Territory. Holla at a sister, y'all. Peace out.